Hi there, just wanted to show you the X525. Hi there, just wanted to show you the X525 and the gimbal system. Um, what you can see here is the X525 frame with the X550 um, gimbal mount. Now I did need to modify this a little bit um, using those standoffs. Um, just drilled four holes, as you can see under here, to secure this gimbal system. Um, yeah, so what I've done is I've replaced the analog servo, which is a Hextronic HX5010, and replaced it with this uh, Corona DS329MG, which is a uh, it's a digital servo. Um, it's a little bit smaller. It's Metal Gear. Um, look, it should be a lot more accurate. Uh, I don't know if you can remember the last video. Um, the, the gimbal system wasn't smooth at all. So um, I thought I'd try a digital servo. Now this servo is a bit smaller. So I just needed to make a... Uh, I don't know if you can see that. Just an adapter mount in there to convert it over to the smaller server. Okay, um, what I'll do is, um, oh, just show you what I've done. I've taken these off, which, um, which sort of mount the engines. And what happens is when they, they get a fair bit of weight on there with the camera system and everything, um, they do tend to flex. And there are cases where these have actually snapped. So I've taken them off and mounted directly to the boom. The other thing I've taken off are these uh, landing mounts. Obviously we don't need them, they're just extra weight moment and they do tend to rattle around a, bit, uh, a little bit. Okay, so what, what I'll do is I'll turn this on. Okay, so just switch that on, throttle down. Okay, um, we'll just give it a bit of a test. Ooh. Okay, as you can see, the servo is going the wrong way. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to hook it up to the PC, and I'm just going to show you how to reverse the servo and how to actually tune it so that it, the camera remains level. So as you tilt this down, the camera should be level. Okay, so we'll go off to the PC now, okay? Okay, what I'm gonna do is hook up the uh, Juno to the computer. So this is the unit I use, which is part of the Renzibi um, uh, GPS uh, OSD that I have and I uh, sort of modified it <laughs> so it fits in there. So I'll plug that into the USB port and I'll plug the other end into the, um, the Arduino chip. Okay. Okay, now this is a little bit tricky. Um, I'm going to fire up the Arduino 101 software and I will load up the multi we code okay now if you go onto the config.h tab this is where you do all your settings okay so the first thing we do is we define that it's a quad okay so right here is the um, you need to uncomment this line which is the servo tilt okay and this is the pitch servo. So at the moment it's set to minus 18. So what I'm going to do is set it to plus 18. Okay. And that represents the rate. Okay. Now down a little bit further, we're going to go down and change the servo um, frequency. Okay. So because we have a digital servo now, 
um, we should be able to increase the frequency from 50 Hertz that shows the refresh rate at 50 Hertz so I'm going to comment that line with the double forward slashes and I will uncomment the 300 Hertz okay alright so that's how simple it is uh, I hope you could sort of see that um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to flash the board so basically press the upload okay so I'll hit upload I'm just activating the GUI now uh, the GUI allows you to get in and change all your settings um, you could probably see that uh, the OGS1 has the uh, level stabilization and the OGS2 is set up to do the camera stabilization you also notice that all the buttons in OGS2 are ticked which means the camera will stay on all the time therefore we don't really need a switch there um, just write the settings and we're ready to go while we're in the GUI we can have a look at the PID values the P represents the gain on the gyro a value of 4 is default um, you could probably go down to about 3 before you lose stability and if you've built a really good solid machine you could probably go up to about 8 so if you start vibrating uh, basically keep reducing the P until you get your stable point in conclusion I'd just like to suggest that that Corona digital servo probably isn't good enough um, yeah, you'd probably want to go for a, a more expensive servo if you want to get a nice smooth clean motion um, again this was only a bit of a test just to see if the system how the system worked um, yeah I hope you've enjoyed it I hope you've learned something and feel free to ask questions